Hello and welcome to Gyun Sutra Insights, the channel where we explore the latest and greatest innovations in the world of railways. In today's episode, we will learn about CABIC, a system that can prevent train collisions and accidents using radio frequency identification technology. We will also find out how CABIC relates to the recent train accident in Andhra Pradesh, which claimed 14 lives and injured 50 people. The Kangen Railway is a unique railway project that connects the states of Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka and Kerala along the western coast of India. It covers a distance of 740 kilometers and passes through some of the most challenging terrain and climatic conditions in the country. The Kangen Railway is also known for its engineering marvels such as bridges, tunnels, viaducts and embankments. But what makes the Konkan Railway even more special is its use of CAVIC, an acronym for Konkan Automatic Vehicle Anti-Collision Hardware. CAVIC is a system that uses radio frequency identification or RFID technology to track the location and speed of trains and send signals to the drivers and the control room about the status of the tracks ahead. CAVIC can prevent train collisions and accidents by warning the drivers about any potential conflicts or hazards, and applying brakes automatically if necessary. CAVIC consists of three main components, RFID tags, RFID readers, and control room. RFID tags are installed on each train, which transmit a unique identification code and other information to the readers along the tracks. RFID readers are installed at regular intervals along the tracks, which receive the signals from the tags and relay them to the control room and the drivers. Control room is equipped with computers and monitors, which display the real-time position and movement of trains on a graphical map, and alert the operators and drivers about any potential conflicts or hazards. CAVIC operates into modes, normal mode and emergency mode. Normal mode is when the system monitors the movement of trains and sends warning signals to the Drivers, if they approach a red signal, a speed limit, or a conflicting train, the drivers are expected to follow the signals and take appropriate action. Emergency mode is when the system automatically applies brakes to the trains if they fail to heed the warning signals or if there is an imminent danger of collision. Emergency mode is activated only as a last resort when normal mode fails to prevent an accident. CAVIC was developed by the Konkan Railway Corporation Limited, or KRCL, a public sector undertaking under the Ministry of Railways. KRCL was established in 1990 to construct and operate the Konkan Railway project. KRCL has also been involved in other railway projects in India and abroad, such as Delhi Metro, Mumbai Metro, Jammu and Kashmir Railway, Mauritius Metro Express, etc. CAVIC was first introduced in 2004 as a pilot project on a 32-kilometer stretch between Rohe and Veer stations in Maharashtra. It was later extended to cover the entire Konkan Railway network by 2007. CAVIC has been successfully functioning since then, without any major glitches or failures. CAVIC has also been recognized as one of the best practices in railway safety by various national and international agencies. But while CAVIC has been ensuring safety and efficiency on the Konkan Railway Network, other railway zones in India have been struggling with frequent train accidents and mishaps. According to official statistics, there were 1,394 train accidents in India between 2010 and 2020, resulting in 1,838 deaths and 3,670 injuries. One of the most recent and tragic examples of train accidents in India occurred on October 29, 2023, when a passenger train traveling from Visakhapatnam to Rayagada derailed after colliding with another passenger train near Kathavalasa railway station in Vizianagam district of Andhra Pradesh. The collision resulted in at least 14 deaths and 50 injuries, making it one of the worst rail disasters in India in recent years. The cause of the accident was attributed to human error by the driver of the Rayagada bound train, who allegedly jumped a red signal and crashed into the stationary train. The accident raised questions about the safety and efficiency of India's railway system, 
which is one of the largest and busiest in the world. Carrying over 8 billion passengers and 1.2 billion tons of freight annually, the accident also highlighted the need for implementing advanced technologies such as CAVIC to prevent such tragedies in the future. The Indian Railways has been working on developing and installing its own indigenous automatic TRAIN protection system called Train Collision Avoidance System or TCAS, which is similar to CAVIC but covers more features and functions. TCAS is expected to be rolled out across a 2,000-kilometer network in phases by 2025. The Indian Railways has also been investing in other modernization and safety measures such as track renewal, signaling upgrade, coach refurbishment, CCTV surveillance, etc. With a budget allocation of overs to lack for 2023 to 24, but will these measures be enough to ensure safety and reliability for millions of passengers and freight customers who depend on the railways every day? Will India be able to catch up with the global standards of railway technology and innovation? Will CAVIC inspire other railway zones to adopt similar systems, or will it remain an isolated success story? These are some of the questions that we hope to answer in our future episodes for now. We hope you enjoyed learning about CAVIC and how it works. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more real tech.